you have many tattoos on your body. Could you please explain uh, what what all of the all of them mean, and uh, maybe you plan to to get some extra tattoos while you're uh, in Lithuania? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I needed to get some tats, so um, I started getting tats when I was like 15. Um, yeah, every tat I got means something. My very first tat was a basketball in my mom's name, uh, most important to me. Um, and now, you know, I just expanded on that. You know, I'm really into church. So um, I got a lot of religious stuff on me. Um, my, my latest tat that I got, the latest was the Miller Time. That's the thing I go by now. I got a little brand about it. And then blessed to be the underdog. Um, so uh, I'm gonna expand on that. Might get some stuff up here. And you know, but yeah, I'm looking forward to see how the, the tech guys is out here, man. So yeah, I got you know I got my whole back to do, my whole stomach. I got my chest, but not my stomach. So okay, I'm gonna, so, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Um, so you've you've already spent quite some time in in Utena. Uh, how is the city, and uh, how is everything about it so far? Uh, it's what I heard about the city. It's cool. You know, I'm a I'm a family guy. I be at home anyway in my apartment. So um, it's pretty cool. Found the great food spots so far. So I've been there every day. Um, the food lab, which was good for me. So, um, but the city is cool, I, and I love the teammates. So I'm getting, I'm getting more comfortable here. How is the atmosphere in the team's locker room? Uh, how warm everybody welcomed you here? Oh man, it, it was great. I had my first preseason game yesterday after one practice, and you know, it felt like I, I've been here the whole time. So, the guys is great. Um, you know, the re real relatable. Everybody is good guys. So I feel like the team is, is welcoming me real good, and I feel like we we can have a good year this year. The team is known for its uh, family-like relationship between the players and between the coaches, the administration. Have you already felt that? Yeah, I felt that. I see. I see a lot of the players with their kids. You know, unfortunately, my my two kids and my wife couldn't be here, but I get that warm feeling. Like um, it's about family here, and I, I, it just makes me smile because I think about my family back at home when I see all the guys with their, their family and kids. Going back to your first time when you came uh, to play uh, to Europe as a foreign player. Uh, how much of a culture shock was it for you? And uh, maybe you re remember some funny situations that came out of it. Oh man, uh, it was <laughs> it was real different. I was I was nervous. I was I was by myself coming out of college. I was in Turkey, Istanbul. So uh, I was in a great city, but I you know I didn't know much, man. So I had some vets on the team, but I was so nervous that uh, my first time in the apartment, it was a low um, like a low light. I hit my head on the low light, like cut my head right before training camp. I had to go to the hospital. Um, my phone didn't work. I had Wi-Fi, so it was all bad, man. But that, it was fun. It was cool. You've played in historical European te uh, teams, franchises like Partizan, like uh, Ratio Farm and uh, Gaziantep. Uh, what kind of experiences were those? Uh, is it somehow special for you right now to remember? Yeah, all of them, man. Like um, going to Gaziantep, even going to Easter Bowl my rookie year, going to Besiktas. So that was that was huge for me as a rookie. Um, then, like you said, going to Germany was, yeah, Germany was great. Like, um, and it was different in Germany. I, I really enjoyed Germany. We had a good team that year. Um, and then, you know, playing in Partizan in Serbia was real great for me also. So I feel, I've been on for, I've been fortunate to go to a lot of good places, man. And then last year I was in Israel. So that was, that was, that was spiritual. So that was real great for me. Growing up in the States and in the city of Chicago, uh, who were your idols growing up, growing up and, uh, perhaps, uh, uh, those those people who you were looking up to when you when you chased your dream to become a basketball player. Um, as a kid, you know, watching Michael Jordan, I was real young, and then Allen Iverson as I was getting older. So those are two um, growing up and and being in the states, and then, and then in Chicago with some some hoopers who didn't make it to the NBA, but he's overseas. Uh, Jerome Randall, that's like my that's like my big brother because me and his his little brother grew up together since we was kids. So I looked up to Jerome Randall. Um, and um, yeah, just that's that's my core right there. That, that motivated me to play at a high level. Uh, what kind of goals bring you to Utina? Uh, why was it the best choice for you this summer? Um, once I talked to coach, it was a great relationship from the start, man. And uh, I felt like I felt welcomed. I felt like um, he really, you know, wanted me, and uh, he knew I he, he wanted me to play my game, and he felt like I could help the team, and he felt like being here and being in his league could help me too. So. I knew coming to Lithuania is like smart basketball. So, cause you know, I played against a team in Lithuania before Aritas, but um, I knew they played good. It was a good team. So I feel like it's, it was a good fit for me. Uh, help, you know, even mature my game even more. Um, it's a lot of pick and roll that I like to focus on and, you know, shooting. So um, I feel like it's, it's gonna work out. Uh, you're 29, uh, 29 of age. Um, uh, a lot of people say that it's the best time for the basketball player, like peak of the career. 
uh, how uh, how are you welcoming this uh, this period of time? Uh, how well you feel prepared to to uh, to show your best qualities uh, on the court? Um, yeah, like I, like I'm a vet now, man, and it's just like being more being more calm and relaxed. Like now, I, I understand the game a lot, so I've been over here a lot, a long time. So um, I feel like I'm getting better, even though I'm getting old. I, I feel like I'm still getting better. You know, like they said, it's your prime. I feel like I still I'm still getting better. I still got a lot of work to do. So um, I'm, I'm looking. I enjoy it every every season, every summer when I go back and still work on some things. Like this year, I feel like it's a huge year to where I'm gonna show something different. So. Um, I'm looking forward to it and you know, I'm, I'm still going to keep getting better. What kind of personal goals and collective goals do you have and uh, how much is personal success uh, important for you? Uh, I really don't have any personal goals but to play the way I play, you know, play my game. Uh, I know it's going to take care of itself but my, my first goal is always, you know, I want to qualify for Champions League first. You know, I want to be in the Champions League. Um, and I just, you know, I want to win. I seen the team win last year, fourth place. I want to, I want to win and then do better than they did last year. So my goal is always team oriented. I know if, if the team look good, I look good. So um, my team, my, my goal is just come in and be a leader, help the team, you know, fit in and do what I got to do, you know, have a successful season. You said that before coming uh, uh, here, you talked with Coach uh, Urbanas. Uh, what, what other things uh, were uh, were important for you when you made your decision, and was it hard for you? Uh, at first it was a little hard. I thought about it a little bit, but then the way I talked to him more, it's just like, I, I just got that feeling. You know, I just had a great coach in Israel and I felt I got that feeling from him too. So I'm like, okay. And then I had like a little stuff going on with my grandma passing and uh, my wife getting COVID before I came and coach was always there to, you know, to, he told me reach out to him. So I knew like, all right, he, he cares about my family. So. That made it. That made it good. Maybe you talked with uh, with some other foreign players that played in Lithuania before you to 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 know more about uh, what kind of uh, country is. is yeah, is yeah. It. I talked to a few a few vets, few players. I talked to like Chris Lofton, who played here long, like played not here but in Lithuania a little while ago. Um, I talked to Crawford, who was here last year. So um, he told me, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's cool. He said the city is you know small, not much to do, but you know that's that's who I am anyway. I don't do much. Um, but he said basketball wise, it's, it's great. So, and he, he gave me like, all right, yeah, you sh you'll, you'll be okay. So the thing about Utana being a small town, uh, does it scare you at, at just a little? No, I was in uh, Bolazak in France. You know, I was, <laughs> I was in Bolazak in France. Uh, I was in Gaziantep, like uh, the cities. Like, I, I, was on, I was fortunate to have great cities like Om and, and Istanbul and Belgrade, but you know, the small cities don't scare me, especially if my family was here, I'd be real, real great. But now, you know, I just, I'm gonna be in the room, you know, in my, my apartment, maybe playing a game or something like. Uh, in one of your interviews uh, in here in Lithuania, you already said that uh, one thing that you lack uh, in order to get uh, EuroLeague offers is uh, better shooting from behind the arc. Uh, would you say that 29 is is a good age for uh, improving? In is is it somehow possible to to make a very big uh, step in, in your shooting? I think it's it's the perfect time. You know, I'm getting older. You know, I'm usually you know everybody see me and right, I'm athletic, I'm strong, and I feel like the older you get, your game slow down. So you know, this is a perfect time for me to pick up on my shooting. You know, get in your league, and then you know, once I get that, I feel like I'm I'm unstoppable. So, what would you say would be the best? Uh, what kind of season would you need to have to to uh, with with the uh, with the Juventus that uh, you could get uh, Euroleague offers uh, next um, summer? Like they did last year, win. I feel like if we win, if I, we qualify for Champions League, and I just shoot the ball well. If we win, and I shoot the ball well. I feel like it's gonna take care of itself. So, I just you know just going in, focus, just get wins, and then I know if I keep that confidence, man, it's gonna it's gonna play out. It's gonna play it out. Uh, winning the FIBA Europe Cup last year uh, was, I guess, one of the biggest ac accomplishments in your career. Uh, what kind of experience was it, uh, especially being one of the leaders of, of this team? Um, it was great, man. It was like we did something, you know, like um, that that country never did, you know, for FIBA Euro Cup, that team, that organization. So it was great, man. That was exciting. You know, I played in um, Euro Cup. I played in Basketball Champions League a little bit, but um, so winning that it was it was huge for me personally. And you know, it was always great to win a championship, man. So that was special, and, and especially to do it in in Israel. We had it at home, so that was great for all the fans and for that country.